In this demo, we will see how we can make polylines with mouse clicks. So for example, let me draw some points. And the way we will code these is as soon as I take this mouse pointer outside the form or uh, the J frame in fact, the polyline will be digitized. So let us see how we can do this. So I'm already inside IntelliJ IDEA and since I do not know how many times the user is going to click, I'll have to store the X and Y variables inside to array list instead of array. Now the constructor for uh, the polyline takes in arrays. So some part of the program will have to convert the array lists into arrays. Let me declare these two arrays. The first one will hold, you know, the X location of the click and the other one will hold the Y location of the list of the click. Let's import the array list class java.util.array list. Next, let's first write the main function. Let's make a call to the instructor and now let us define the size of you know this J frame yes so this class has to extend J frame and also because we have to use mouse clicks we have to implement mouse listener interface and there are five methods defined inside this interface so mouse mouse pressed and released contribute to mouse click and when you enter the form or when you enter the frame it's mouse entered when you exit the frame it's mouse exited let me import all of these all right J frames and you know Java programs are supposed to be working better with a properly defined layout, but I'll be using my favorite favorite layout, which is null. <laughs> and let us also, you know, Java is very, uh, I would say, very very logical because you know you write steps like these. Set visible is true. So unless something is true true it is false so by default set visible is false you have to declare it to be true all right and then when we press the cross icon the j frame has to close so that behavior is encoded with three you can write a three or you can write j frame dot exit on close so you you will be writing things inside these predefined methods but this is only useful once you have 
added another line which is add mouse listener index. So how you can understand this is you know this part of the code somebody is speaking but unless you have ears which is this part of the code nothing is audible so you can speak as much as you want but the other person needs to have ears right so let us see how well this works i will run the code That takes taking a lot of time. Yeah, so here we are. If we want, we can give this a title by using set title. So let us do that. This J frame, let's give it a title, say draw with mouse click. Let's run it again. Almost as one. All right. So here is your title. Now we will implement the methods listed inside the interface mouse listener. One of them is mouse click. What do I want the code to do? The X that I declared earlier here should get the value from the mouse click which is e dot get x and using this event e similarly y should get the value from this click event as well and these locations they should be added to my array lists which i've already declared right Once this, these click points are added to the list, I can call the graphics context G. You can name this anything you like. You, you can name it EXP, whatever. Yeah. You will say get graphics. Let's import whatever is needed. And then you can say, let me draw a rectangle at this very location, XY location and size 6 and 6. Now Java rectangles, uh, the left hand corner uh, is this location. So if you want your click to match with the center of the rectangle, you have to subtract half of that width or height. So if this was a 10, I would be subtracting 5. You can draw this on paper and see. You can draw, draw a rectangle and the topmost left corner is this x and y location. So if you want the coordinates of the center, you have to subtract half the side lengths. Let us see if this works. Come on. Yes. All right. Yes. So this part of the code it works. Now what I want to do is, as soon as I move my mouse outside the frame, J frame, these should be joined with a line. So now I will code that. And for that, I will go into mouse exit. It. So for plotting these points connected by a polyline, the polyline constructor takes in an array. So first, I have to make those arrays. Let me define two integer arrays. Let's call them x array and y array. So I will get a new array and the size of this array will be equal to the size of the array list. So the whole purpose here is I do not know how many times the user is going to click. If he clicks it 10 times, 
I first store the points inside an array list and then I transfer them to this array. That is true even if it, it is being clicked five times or three times, doesn't matter because first we do it, you know, storing inside the array list and then we shift everything to the array. Same for y, let's make this as, sorry, y array. And I will have this array with the same size as the array list. Now for each of these points, which can be done using a for loop, since the click gives you two points, x and y, their sizes are equal. So the x array and y array and the ALX and ALY all are equal in size. So traverse the entire thing and keep adding these points. So X array, the IF element is equal to, I will use the array list ALX and get the get function, you know, the get function, get the, the IF element and same <clears throat> with this y uh, array I will say get the ix element of ally now call the graphics context this is we are doing this on a frame so I just have to write that graphics if I were doing this on a panel, I would be using the name of the panel, P dot something, all right? So I'm not using a panel, I'm using a frame. Okay. Draw polyline, and you see the constructor, it takes in arrays, X points, Y points, and the number of points. So my X points are stored in X array, Y are stored in Y array, and number of points you can actually choose anything out of ALX size or ALY size. So this should do the trick. We are not totally done, but let us let us first see what is happening. Yeah, my system is dead almost. So as you click. You get this polyline, but there's one problem. I come back and I digitize again. See what happens. So these points, these two polylines, I, I was trying to make two polylines and I could get only one and this was joined. Why? Because these points are being added to the polyline, all of them. To separate these two polylines, what I have to do is I have to, once I enter the J frame again, I have to start a new polyline. That means the array that I have accumulated has to be emptied. So let me write how to, you know, clear these arrays every time I enter my form. And now everything should work fine. Let me, let me see how this works. So I should get two polylines now because I'm making everything null as I enter the J frame. Alright, so let me make one first polyline. I go out, come back in. If I get two polylines, then everything is working fine. And that means everything is absolutely fine. Thanks a lot.